Hello, in this video, we're gonna talk about adding and subtracting fractions of the common denominator. Um, so first of all, I've got a problem here where we don't have the common, a common denominator. Uh, the denominator is the bottom, the numerator is the top. Denominator D, think down, if that helps you remember. So uh, an easy way to find a common denominator is to just think about what number seven and three could both go into. And I'm thinking about 21. And sometimes if you're not sure, a good way to figure it out is to just say, what's three times seven? That's 21. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just say, what do I need to do here to make the bottom of 21 uh, multiply by three? And if you do the, if you multiply the bottom times three, you also have to multiply the top times three because this is what we call a well-chosen one. Uh, it's one in a form that's convenient. To get this to be a 21, we need to multiply that by seven on top and bottom. So we're gonna end up with um, over first nine over 21, and then we're gonna have minus two times seven, 14 over 21, and then nine minus seven is negative five over 21. Don't forget that when you subtract or add fractions, the bottoms uh, do not add or subtract, only the tops. Uh, let's try another one. Let's do um, um, uh, two thirds um, plus seven twelfths. Now, in this particular case, to find a common denominator, you could multiply the three times the 12 and get 36, but you don't need to. And that is because what number does three and 12, what's the smallest number three and 12 both go into? It's actually 12. So we've already got a 12 there. All I need to do here is multiply that by a four over four. And so I get four times two on top is eight. Four times three is 12. And then plus the seven over 12 stays the same. And I get eight plus seven, that's 15 over 12. And that actually reduces um, by three. So this is the same as five fourths. Let's look at some bigger numbers. How about uh, uh, we'll do three eighths minus one thirteenth. So um, with eight and 13, there's definitely not an obvious common denominator there. So I'm gonna just go ahead and like I showed you before, multiply eight times 13 uh, and um, eight times 13 is 104. So I'm gonna multiply this by 13 over 13. And I'm gonna multiply this by eight over eight. And we're gonna get uh, my 104 on the bottom here and here, and uh, 13 times three makes 39 over 104. Then eight times one makes eight over 104. And uh, then we subtract the tops, not the bottoms. So 39 minus eight, 31 over 104. And that does not reduce because 31 is a prime number. There you go. Five over 24. And then plus one over 15. So let's think this one through. Um, I'm noticing that the, the bottoms are pretty large numbers, uh, 24 and 15, and that's okay. Uh, that's not a bad thing. Um, but um, if you multiply 24 times 15, you are gonna get a large common denominator. And that's you know okay to do. But I wanna also notice here, notice that three is part of both of these guys. Um, and um, they already have that in common. Uh, 24 is actually eight times three and 15 is five times three. So the fact that they have a common multiple, a common number that goes into both of them, that tells me that there's gonna be a, a, 
a number that both of them go into that's a little bit easier to work with than 24 times 15. Um, um, and, um, you know, you just have to kind of do some trial and error if you, if you want to try and find that, that number. A trick that you can use is take one of them, and since like three is common, take out a three from this guy, and which would leave a five, and then multiply it times 24, that makes 120. That's a little trick you can use. Again, look at the smaller number, take out the three, which leaves you five, and then multiply it times the other number, and that's 120. 120 is gonna be an easier common denominator um, because 24 times five is 120. So that five times 24 makes 120. And then uh, 15 times eight uh, is 120. So you're gonna multiply this by eight, by eight, and you're gonna get five times five, 25 over 120. Eight times one is eight over 120. And that's gonna be 33 over 120. And uh, so that's a little trick you can use when you have numbers that are fairly large um, and they share a common number already. Um, this can be reduced uh, by three. Uh, three goes into 33 11 times, so uh, that's 11. Three goes into this 40 times, so finally it's 11 over 40. Uh, again, I hope this helps you out. Uh, please let me know if you have any follow-up questions on the comment page. Have a great day.